Bonjour encore, une fois, commandant. We continue our Marseille vacations. Eight magnificent French heavyweight fighters come off the stocks to join the battle in Update 0.7.2. You'll have a chance to test them in a new campaign, an exciting operation, and the second season of Clan Battles. Some of you have already managed to obtain new French battleships. Now the entire branch is available, and you can research all the ships in it, one after another. You'll start your journey to the branch's top with classic dreadnoughts from the beginning of the 20th century, Turenne, Courbet, and Breton. Normandy, another generation and new armament. Only three turrets, but each housing four guns with a caliber of 340 millimeters. Lyon has the same turrets, but four of them. 16 guns at tier seven, it's a record. Richelieu stands out compared to other ships in the branch. Only two turrets with four guns each, and both of them are on the bow. On the other hand, their caliber is 380 millimeters, and she is equipped with engine boost, like the following ships in the branch. Another record holder, Alsace at Tier 9. 12 guns in her broadside. It's a dangerous and difficult adversary. The flagship of the branch, Republic, carries two turrets with four guns in each of them. She has the biggest caliber among all the newcomers, 431 millimeters, a reload time of only 24 seconds, and the engine boost consumable. New French ships have their own unique character and are ready to join the fight under your command. Some of these battleships will come in handy in the new Operation Hermes, which sees you defending an Allied convoy against German patrols. Take note that each attack is more powerful than the previous one. The final engagement of the operation will be against German battleships and aircraft carrier Graf Zeppelin. An important feature of the operation, a localized storm front, will help you fight off superior enemy forces. The best part is that you'll be rewarded with containers and doubloons for completing additional missions of the operation. Speaking of rewards, the new campaign, The Gold of France, will give you a chance to earn unique camouflages for Dunkirk, Richelieu and Gascon, as well as special French patches. In Update 0.7.2, many players who assembled the Isoroku Yamamoto collection will have the ability to change the palette of both standard and permanent camouflages. The new unique color scheme for the Japanese combines blue, gray, and black, a great reason to complete the collection. We continue to improve game maps. The Atlantic received a range of small fixes, and two small islands providing cover were added to Warrior's Path. Northern Lights underwent more serious changes. In the Supremacy mode, the extreme key areas were moved to the eastern part of the map and given to the teams from the very beginning, while retaining them now earns fewer points. Study maps, get the advantage, and win! The second season of Clan Battles continues. Join the fight on your Tier 10 ships or use special clan ships. Lead your clan to the top of the Hurricane League and don't forget to complete the Typhoon League's combat mission on your way to the cherished Stalingrad. Let's talk about game mechanics. Now, a magazine can detonate only if a ship has no more than 75% of its combat capability points. The number of disappointing situations when your undamaged ship sinks as a result of a magazine explosion after the very first hit will significantly reduce. Now for visual effects. Following your numerous requests, the water splashes caused by shell explosions will now settle quicker. As a result, it became easier to aim at ships that are under heavy fire. Last but not least, take note of the new foam and the ship's wake. Thanks to new textures and improved mechanics of their interaction, the level of detail for these effects became significantly higher. Water in World of Warships is now even more beautiful, so don't forget to contemplate the sea between engagements. That's all for now. Subscribe to our channel, it has lots of interesting stuff. I'm Dasha Perova. Until next time. Теперь об игровых механиках. И я... Давай еще раз. Au revoir.
Ну, наконец, Ямамото и Сороку, я так по нему скучала, и коллекцию долго собирала.